Hi, this is Ron Gannett. I'm visiting here in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania with my uh, daughter Caroline, her husband Matt, and their beautiful daughter, uh, Lily Rose. We call her Rosie because she uh, brings so much beauty and adoration to our life. She looks like she's very distracted from Grandpa's videoing job right now. But you know, as we've had the opportunity this summer to visit our grandchildren, I've asked myself, the, the importance of Jesus' words. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? And part of our souls, especially for those of us as grandfathers, is our children and our grandchildren and great-grandchildren that God has placed in our lives. You know, I'm reminded of how I can ask myself how I can convey my Christian values to little Rosie so she grows up to know and to worship the God that I know. As I look at her now, I know that she'll never remember these moments, even though I will. She'll never remember this time with Grandpa. But one day I hope she remembers the God of creation who made her. You know, it's amazing in Colossians 4, the Apostle Paul gives us three, three little uh, commands. He says, number one, devote yourself to prayer. And I need to pray for Rosie that God would open a door in her life, that God would open doors that would bring her to himself and enable her Lord, to worship Him and to honor Him, but most of all, to trust Christ as her Savior. The second command is to walk with wisdom. I need to show her in my lifestyle the fact that all that I believe about Christ in the Bible works for me, and that it is powerful influence that can shape her life as well. And I pray that Rosie, through my prayer and through my lifestyle, will come to worship the God of creation. But then lastly, the Apostle Paul tells us to let your speech be always with grace, seasoned as it were with salt. I pray that she might know Christ because she hears those wonderful words of grace, the words that are seasoned with salt that make her thirsty for the righteousness of God. And I pray that one day this little girl will grow up and love and serve the God who created her and the God who loved her. So this summer as you travel, as with your family and you see those that are close to you, Ask yourself the very important question, what does it profit a man or a woman if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? You are looking at Rosie, who is part of my soul. <laughs>